It's all in me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. I give you praise. King of kings and Lord of lords, I worship you. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of a brand new day. Thank you because your will shall be done today. In the lives of your people all over the world. In Jesus' mighty name. This morning, with Jesus' joy, I want to bring to you this great news that will change your life forever. I am speaking on the everlasting gospel all accepts. The everlasting gospel all accepts. My text is from the book of Revelation chapter number 14 and verse 6. The Bible says that this gospel, the everlasting gospel that God gave the angel to preach must be preached to all them that dwell on the earth. To every single human being alive on earth, God wants this gospel to be preached to. This everlasting gospel is to be heard, is to be believed, is to be received by everyone. Hey, there is something that makes this gospel acceptable. I am telling you, no matter where you are, this gospel is coming your way to change the narrative around your life. There are many who have been sick, wishing for freedom from sickness forever. There are many who are poor, being oppressed daily. There are many who are prisoners. 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. Today, 3rd of November, America as a nation is going to elect a new president. There are people who want good to rule and reign in America. There are people who want evil to rule and reign in America. Satan, no matter how good a man is, what controls a man is what matters. For as long as people don't hear the gospel, they will be ruled by the devil. And there's no man who is ruled by the devil that will do good. In spite of how well intentioned he or she may be. Listen to me. Until people are ruled by the spirit of God, by the word of God, by the love of God, they will be ruled by the devil. And take note of this word. No matter how well intentioned the man is, the force or the forces that control or controls the man, it's what that man does. Listen, many people over the world are selfish. People are greedy. People are evil. People are wicked. You know why? The reason is simply because they are not ruled by God. When a man is ruled by God, that man becomes a living wonder where he is. I pray for you today that this word coming your way will repackage your life and place you where you must be in the name of Jesus Christ. The question is, what is the everlasting gospel? What can this gospel do? What makes this gospel acceptable to all? Hear me and hear this. The everlasting gospel is all about God making man free from every evil, making man's home free from every evil, making man's environment free from every evil, making, making man's career, man's job, man's business, and the business places of every human being free from every evil. The gospel is all about freedom. The gospel is all about liberty. The gospel is all about restoration to the reality of heaven in the present. It is not the will of God for any human being to be under any problem. God has paid the full price to set everyone free from his or her problems. That price is Jesus, the Son of God, that God so loved the world and gave to come and die for our sins. The full price has been paid for every single human being alive on earth to be free from every trouble and problems. Now, you need to receive Jesus 
accepting him into your heart as your savior and lord is what guarantees your release from every evil i pray for you today that no matter what i see that you will see jesus hallelujah that you will receive me to your life because when you do every of your problems will come to an end it is not the will of god for you to suffer in life at all suffering is not god's will suffering has never been god's will suffering will never be god's will until you understand that the gospel is the power of god unto salvation unto freedom from sickness unto freedom from black and white until you get to a point of knowing that the gospel is god's only way out of every problem every trouble here on earth and everything that you may be going through as not desirable until you come to a point of knowing that this gospel is god's final solution packaged and released to man and you accept it you will live your life in pain my word for you today is please know that god has made available to humanity all that every single human being needs to be all god created every human being to be all you need is in the gospel to receive the gospel is wisdom but you can't receive it until you hear it and that's why i'm here what is the gospel the power of god that brings freedom from all evils what is the gospel god walking in the now to terminate every problem his people are going through what is the gospel the gospel is all about putting to an end every evil challenge that man has to set man free from his challenges and restore man to every single thing that is good that god prepared for man from the word go what's the gospel the gospel is prosperity for the poor what is the gospel the gospel is not just healing but divine health for all the sick what is the gospel total deliverance and freedom for all in any form of bondage or captivity what is the gospel the gospel is lifting for those who are down the gospel is freedom for the oppressed what is the gospel the gospel is that afflictions should not rise up a second time what's the gospel you have seen the devil and evil the gospel is that god wants you to see god and good that's the gospel this gospel is what you need people are dying people are going through pain and problems the rich also cry there's no man on earth without a need what is the gospel god's provision to meet the need of everyone hallelujah without you are struggling for it that's the gospel god wants you not to perish in that problem but to be set free from that problem and to live and enjoy the best god has prepared for you my prayer for you today is that no matter what i see you will see god and see him alone you will hear from god and then receive his word for you because that will that will reformat your life and grant you access to what you have never dreamed you can ever attain in this life my prayer for you is that you will be wise to receive the gospel jesus christ came and died for you to live jesus christ came and suffered to free you from suffering jesus christ came and died to end every curse and bring you to the blessing jesus christ died to put on end every shame and reproach and clothe you with his glory jesus christ died and he became poor for you to be super rich and that is why you need to hear the gospel the gospel is the way out of all of your problems and that is why you need to receive the gospel the gospel is what god has made available for you to have all you have ever dreamed to have in this life that's why you need to hear believe and receive the gospel my prayer for you is that as you start off today that you will make up your mind to go for god's best to go for the gospel because the gospel is god's best for you today tomorrow and forever god bless you is my prayer by 7 a.m this morning to 7 30 we are starting the same gospel today for the whole world listen connect with that 
It's three minutes to seven o'clock, Nigerian time for five minutes. So this short message must come to an end right now so that we can go to what we have for today. Please, I'd like you to be a part of this great work because God has something unseen, something unheard of for you. And no force will take that away from you. God bless you and see you in a few minutes' time. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen.